Hey, what's up everybody? It's AI underscore Street 23 here. Samsung's been killing it in the foldable game and the rumors about the Galaxy Z Flip 7 are getting me hyped. Every year, they somehow make these phones even more pocketable and powerful. But this year? This year, we might be looking at something truly special. We all know Samsung loves to pack their phones with the latest and greatest tech. The Z Flip 7 is no different. But the whispers I'm hearing? They're saying Samsung's going with a surprising new processor, one we haven't seen before, one that could change everything. Now I know what you're thinking. AI underscore Street 23, you always get hyped about processors. And you're right, I do. But trust me on this one, this isn't just a spec bump. This is Samsung making a statement. They're not just competing in the foldable market anymore. They're looking to dominate. So buckle up, because we're about to dive deep into the world of the Galaxy Z Flip 7. We're talking about the new processor, the different models, and what it all means for the future of foldable phones. Let's go! Alright, let's talk about the elephant in the room, or should I say the chip in the phone, the Exynos 2500. This thing is a beast. We're talking 10 cores of raw power, built on a cutting-edge 3 nanometer process. That means more performance, better efficiency, and smoother multitasking than ever before. Think about it. 3 Cortex-X, 925 cores for handling the heavy lifting, 5 Cortex-A, 725 cores for everyday tasks, and 2 Cortex-A, 520 cores for sipping power when you need it. It's like having a supercar engine in your pocket. And let's not forget about the Xclipse 950 GPU. This thing is going to make games look absolutely stunning on that foldable display. But there's a catch. Building chips on a 3 nanometer process is incredibly difficult. We're talking about billions of transistors packed into a space smaller than a fingernail. That means yields could be lower, which might affect availability. Will Samsung be able to make enough Exynos 2500 chips to meet demand? Only time will tell. Either way, one thing's for sure. The Exynos 2500 is a bold move by Samsung. It's a statement that they're not afraid to push the boundaries of mobile technology. And honestly, I'm here for it. Now let's talk about the phones themselves, because this year, Samsung's giving us not one but two new Z Flips, the Z Flip 7 and the Z Flip 7 FE. Both phones are rumored to have that iconic clamshell design, but there are some key differences. The Z Flip 7 is the flagship model. It's got the Exynos 2500, the best cameras, and all the bells and whistles. This is the phone for people who want the absolute best of the best. The Z Flip 7 FE, on the other hand, is all about value. It might have a slightly less powerful processor like the Exynos 2400E, but it's still no slouch. And with a lower price tag, it's going to be a tempting option for budget-conscious consumers. Think of it like this. The Z Flip 7 is the Galaxy S23 Ultra of foldable phones, while the Z Flip 7 FE is the S23. Both are amazing devices, but they cater to different needs and budgets. And that's a good thing. It means more people will be able to experience the magic of foldable phones. Section 4, Samsung's Folding Future. But the Z Flip 7 and Z Flip 7 FE are just the tip of the iceberg. Samsung's got big plans for foldable phones and 2025 is shaping up to be a pivotal year. We're hearing rumors about a dual folding Galaxy Z Fold, a more affordable Z Flip, and maybe even some surprises along the way. Samsung Display has been showing off some crazy prototypes and I'm dying to see what they come up with. Imagine a phone that folds in half, and then, in half again, or a tablet that folds down into a phone-sized device. The possibilities are endless. But it's not just about the hardware. Samsung's also investing heavily in software and app optimization for foldable devices. They're working with developers to create apps that take advantage of these unique form factors. And that's key because at the end of the day, it's the software that makes or breaks the user experience. Samsung's goal is clear. They want to make foldable phones mainstream. They want everyone to experience the convenience, portability, and cool factor of these devices. And you know what? I think they have a real shot at doing it. Section 5. Flip out! So there you have it, folks. The Galaxy Z Flip 7, the Exynos 2500, and Samsung's grand vision for the future of foldable phones. It's an exciting time to be a tech enthusiast, and I can't wait to see what the future holds. But now I want to hear from you. What do you think about the Galaxy Z Flip 7? Are you excited about the Exynos 2500? Let me know in the comments down below. And as always, thanks for watching.
Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that notification bell so you don't miss any of my future videos. Peace.